If you're having just transient symptoms, for example, you went for a party and you ate excessively and you get some tummy ache, an antacid once in a while, especially if you have got no other comorbidities, you're a young person, it's probably not a, it's not a problem. That is something you can even get over the counter. But if you keep having persistent symptoms that are, accepted, that are basically affecting your activities of daily living, you probably need to see a doctor. And the doctor, if he's, able, if he's not able to treat you or appropriately investigate, will refer to the gastroenterologist. So usually anybody who has got persistent symptoms or anybody who has got alarm symptoms. So alarm symptoms is like somebody who is persistently vomiting, somebody who is losing weight inexplicably. Basically that means an intentional weight loss. You're not exercising or dieting, you just find yourself losing weight. Persistent loss of appetite. If you're having blood in your stool or if your stool keeps looking black, if you have a family history of gastric cancer, those are basically now the people who need to be seen by a gastroenterologist sooner rather than later. But the problem with ignoring the acidity, the acidity problem is that you might actually be missing that opportunity to prevent an adverse outcome. For example, people come in vomiting blood because of bleeding ulcers. Or guys, people get in perforation of the gut because of perforation of duodenal ulcers. So you might be missing something that is potentially preventable. There are people who now even, you can even develop cancer of the stomach from gastric ulcers. So these are all issues that can be prevented by early referral or early, an early visit to a gastroenterologist if you have persistent symptoms.